the idol. Imagine that electricity supply to our house is cut off during night. Under such circumstances, we would find it difficult to manage to light a candle or a lamp. Now a day, a mobile phone has a facility to switch on the torch light. But to trace our mobile in the dark is also difficult. One of our most important organ of the body is eye. Once our eyes get used to adjusted with the darkness, we can see a bit. What will happen if a person loses his vision all at once and there is no chance of regaining it? The person will break down. This state will have a lot of different psychological reactions till he gets adjusted to the blindness. Under such circumstances, the acceptance of his blindness is out of question. Only a person with balanced mindset can accept the blindness, get adjusted to it, and look forward to achieve self-sufficiency and independence. I had an opportunity to meet a 69 years old, totally blind person, Mr. Hemant Patil, in Mumbai. He was walking on the heavily crowded road at Dadar, Mumbai, with the help of his white cane. I was surprised by observing his fluent movements. I offered him to be a sighted guide for him to reach his destination. I dotty whirly see face. The way he was guiding the cab driver really surprised me. After reaching his destination, I requested him to spend a few movements with me to know him. I was fortunate that he agreed upon. I requested him to tell me his story and his work. Mr. Patil had graduated in pharmacy in 1973. He was lucky enough to get an opportunity to work in the research in medicine abroad. Mr. Patil's team was working on developing an antidote for arsenic poisoning. While working in the lab, all of sudden the chemical flashed up. In that accident, only Patil survived but lost his vision. The day he lost his vision, he was just a 26 years old young man. He was away from his family and friends while undergoing treatment for six months. Neither he could communicate the shocking news to them because it would have had a huge psychological impact on the poor village farmer's family. No, he could share his pains and sorrows with them. His treatment in foreign countries went on for six months, and then he had to come back to India as a blind person. The day he reached Mumbai in his maternal uncle's house. He was giving prime importance to the feelings of his family than his own disability. To console his parents, he had to have smile on his face. Mr. Patil tried all sorts of treatments available in the country, such as allopathic, Ayurvedic, homeopathic, Unani, religious rituals, etc., and even magic and witchcrafts. His faith did not help him in regaining his visions. By the time his saving of rupees thirteen point five lakhs of rupees was also exhausted, then he had no alternative but to go to his village and live a protected life with parents. As the days passed by, Mr. Patil wanted to achieve independence to live a life of a normal human being. Overprotected attitude of his parents, neighbors, and well-wishers did not allow him to perform his daily activities independently. A day came when the self-esteem of Patil had to experience clash on a petty matter. That day, he took a decision to move out of his overprotective cell. He came to Dombivli, a suburb of Mumbai, and stayed with a well-wisher. He realized that without acquiring mobility skills, he could not earn money for his livelihood. He was not aware of any institution working for the welfare of the blind. Then he applied his mind on finding out a way by which a blind person can be mobile. Very soon he realized that orientation of the area plays an important role in developing mobility skill. Hence he planned accordingly and developed friendship with the small children in the building. While playing with the children, he was oriented to the whole area of the compound. Then he could move independently. Step by step, the area extended to roads. Playground and to the railway station. Then he moved to Mumbai by riding on local train. Thus, his confidence got boosted. While practicing mobility skills, he developed friendship with the people on the way and well-wishers who were friendly enough to help him. Out of them, a fellow was a plastic toy supplier. He agreed to provide him plastic toys on wholesale rates. 
Potter's mind grabbed the first opportunity to earn money by selling plastic toys on footpath. One day another well-wisher on the road gave him information that he had met a blind person who was working as an officer. This news totally transformed the life of Patil. It was difficult to trace a person in city like Mumbai but Patil did manage to trace him with a hard effort. He provided Patil with the address and information about a few activities of National Association for the Blind, India, NAB, India. Patil visited NAB India and took out the detailed information about various training programs conducted by them to achieve socio-economic rehabilitation of the blind. Patil successfully completed the training such as rehabilitation, telephone operator, employment officer, and professional officer. During those training programs he not only acquired the skills but also learned the techniques to impart the training to the blind. By observing his progress, the superiors offered him a job of social worker come counsellor on a leave vacancy for the period of four months. During the period he visited a blind client who also lost his speech due to the shock of the death of his parents within the span of a year. He tried to have treatment from doctors and psychologists but all in vain. He remained in the state for the period of four years. Mr. Patil planned a counselling program for him. Within a span of one and a half month he could relieve him out of the shock. He taught him braille script and taught him mobility techniques. At the same time, he was lucky enough to get a job with a central government agency. This success resulted in his desire to acquire skills in the field of psychology. Accordingly, he joined education and completed his graduation with psychology, post-graduation with sociology, Diploma in Rational Emotive Behavioral Therapy, Stress Management Training, Counselor Training, Social Workers Training, Rehabilitation Officers Training. Along with his progress in the education he was promoted in his office and he became a Deputy Director. During his tenure he mainly worked on the line of the difficulties faced by him while undergoing education and socio-economic rehabilitation. He explored new avenues of self-employment through machines such as wing scales, popcorn maker, leather cutting machine, leather stitching machine, sewing machine, laminating machine, noodles maker, flour grinder etc. He attracted the donors to distribute the machines to the blinds for their self-employment. He also imparted the training to blind persons in sales and in manufacturing daily utility items like agarbatti making phenol making and liquid soap making. He also played an important role in providing vending stalls for the self-employment of the blind. For the blind students he distributed tape recorders, CD players and voice recorders according to their needs from time to time. He guided blind students in getting scholarships for their education. He initiated a project for providing educational material to the children of poor blind parents. He provided folding wheelchairs, work tables, bean bags, physio balls, massagers and audio balls to the blind children with multiple disabilities. During the aid distribution program to multiple handicapped blind children, MHB, he realized the hardship, sorrows, pains and revelations of the mothers rearing the MHB child. The agony and suffering of the mothers reached to his heart and a new project came up I Matrumotswa for felicitating the mothers having MHB child. One hundreds of such mothers participated in that event. They were felicitated by honoring them a specially developed memento and lots of prizes. Even today the mementos are kept in the showcases in their houses are spreading awareness towards the motherhood and rehabilitation of MHB children in the society. Mr. Patil also launched the project of benefiting the blind through the projects of central government, state governments and other agencies in the disability welfare field. Such as Indira Avas Yojana, Sanjay Gandhi Niradhar Yojana, Old Age Pension, etc. Mr. Patil organized a program for checking the vision of persons with low and partial vision with modern techniques. He also distributed them prescribed modern aid to them to improve their vision free of cost. Hundreds of blind are benefited out of this project and it benefited them in perusing their education, rehabilitation and fulfilling job requirements.
Mr. Patel became famous in the field for finding out solution on every problem faced by the blind. In the success of Mr. Patel, the lion's share of Mrs. Alka Patel cannot be denied. She not only accepted to get married with a blind person but always played a supporting role in every walk of his life. On the 18th September 2013, the President of India inaugurated the book at Rashtrapati Bhavan with the name The Vision Within Different Walks of Life, which is mainly based on achiever blind clients of Mr. Patil. During the corona epidemic, Mr. Patil continued to serve the disabled, for which he was awarded Sevavrati Sanmachinha by the auspicious hands of the Governor for the State of Maharashtra, Mr. Bhagat Singh Koshari. Mr. Patil was also honored by Rashtra Seva Puraskar, Samaj Bhushan Puraskar, Lifetime Achievement Award, Adish Dombivlikar Award, etc. Mr. Patil's grand personality, adjustive nature, knowledge and methodology of giving personal touch to the client have played a major role in his success to serve disabled. During his work in the field of disabled welfare, Thousands of disabled were inspired by him and they have also achieved greater heights in their professions and educational fields. Today they themselves are became the source of inspirations in the society. When I asked Mr. Patil what is the secret of your great achievements in your life that too after the onset of blindness? Mr. Patil replied, when I was undergoing training in psychology with Institute of Psychological Health there I came to know a prayer which is dot. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Courage to change the things I can. And wisdom to know the difference. The day I knew this, it was imbibed on my heart forever. It was helpful in solving all sorts of problems which we face in our day-to-day -day life and encourages in developing our personality. Similarly, I also implemented a few things in my life they are no and impossible these two words have no place in the dictionary of my life. I try to acquire as much knowledge of every field by reading and listening to books which could accelerate my learning process. I believe that the learning process do not have any age bar. The one who gave me the life of a blind must have also planned something for me by which the disability welfare field can be benefited. I will continue to work in the same field to my last breath. Even today I remain a student and I try to learn some lessons from each and every event and experience in my life. Mr. Patil believe in keep on working on his duties but never expect the any reward out of it. When he retired from NAB, India 2013, he started to work for the welfare of the disabled by a newly founded trust at Dombivli named Vision Insight Foundation. Even today Mr. Patil is agile and fully devoted to offer services to disabled with missionary zeal. The notable services he started for the disabled are audio book center for the blind where a new technology like Bonitha is made available for the low vision or partially sighted blind people to read the printed material by enlarging the size on 32 inches TV screen from 10% to 75% magnification. A resource center is availed at Domivli for blind students undergoing integrated education. Resource center for promoting rehabilitation of blind children with multiple disabilities. Counseling center. To all categories of the disabled, promoting the benefits of the central, state and local authorities welfare schemes such as self-employment, pension schemes, educational assistance etc working as catalyst for providing financial assistance to the needy disabled for their various needs through the agencies such as educational, medical etc., providing permanent shelters to the aged and destitute blind providing free aids and appliances to the disabled and so many others through which many disabled can be benefited directly or indirectly. Since last 10 years he is awarding the Achiever Blind Persons for their extraordinary achievement in the field of education, career, business and social services. He made a full use of the social media to the extent possible to enhance the awareness towards blindness writing articles on the Achiever Blind by publishing a special issue of Domivlikar magazine on the disabled that is Navlai and by organizing rallies on the eve of 15th October, the World White Cane Day.
he created a awareness campaign for enrolling the disabled for registering under the central government scheme of unique disability identity card which is also known as swavlamban card by this campaign the message has been spread over 23 states of our country and has started to get multiple beneficiary udit card He organized functions on the World Disabled Day to felicitate achiever blind and creating awareness. His Adarsh Ai Purashkar by organizing a special day to felicitate the mothers of multiply disabled children which is famous as a Matru Mahotsava. From time to time he also felicitated the teachers for the multiply disabled children working on low wages for years together. Recently he have launched a campaign by developing a WhatsApp group by the name of Gramin and Sashaktikran through which he is providing government resolutions and detailed information to the disabled persons from the remote corners of our country to encourage the disabled he has taken up the project of developing audio articles and stories specially in hindi so that all needy indians can easily access it and take lesson to promote their own rehabilitation He is the first person in India to write article on the history of development of blind welfare in India. Gyanjyoti Nilkanthrai Chhatrapati, Rahmat Fazal Boyui in the service of mankind etc. He collected the full information about them and collected necessary photographs to transform it into the videos to upload it on YouTube. They are now easily available to every disabled in our country and access them by their mobiles. Even today he is a father of 28 destitute blind women which he could get during his life and are safely living in the protected surrounding of Pragya Chakshu Mahila Seva Kunj Surendranagar Gujarat from time to time he visits them counsel them and work for keeping the repo with them a few of them are married he is also in touch with them constantly by listening and knowing all this thing i saluted the dedication of mr patil to his task I was also inspired by Mr Patel's story and it helped me to develop myself in my life. So far thousands of disabled have benefited from the inspiration and today they are living a self-sufficient, independent and respectful life in the society. In spite of the onset of disability in our life we can conquer the horizon and be an idol. C.M Uthappa Mysore Karnataka state